Hannah, welcome. That was fantastic. Thank you. A couple questions for you. Mm -hmm. What role does guitar play within your songwriting? I would say one of the biggest roles. I think I don't, um, I don't begin writing until I have a guitar in my hands, gotcha. generally. Um, I think a lot of inspiration just comes from processing my lived experience um, and turning that into language. But also like this is such a, a portal into language for me, um, into finding language. And I think sonically exploring the guitar, um, yeah, plays just plays a huge role in, in me understanding what I'm trying to say. Shopping around for guitars, you've got quite the collection. Is there anything objective that you look for in an instrument? I think you know, you know me well here um, in my exploration of guitars. I think I'm always seeking um, a depth to the sound. And that doesn't always mean shape, I think, or like size, because I, I play, I play this, and then I also have a small Martin um, parlor, mahogany parlor. But I think that all of the guitars that I have been attracted to and felt a kinship with, um, yeah, they all had a depth to them, like a real, um, a darkness and a roundness that I think I'm always objectively looking for.
you say like some of your guitar playing influences are along with uh just sonically all around i love the tone that you've captured thank um, you with, albeit kind of minimal it, it just it doesn't sound like your fly-by-night acoustic guitar and it's really unique but super appropriate i think especially to your song so where'd you come thank you that? in regards to guitar playing i think um i'm primarily self-taught so picked up the guitar when I was like 18 or so um, and just listened to a lot of Nick Drake and Joni Mitchell. Totally. Um, you know, that is like the overarching like landscape of my life is just listening to a lot of Joni um, <laughs> at every turn. But yeah, Joni has informed a lot of, of the way I relate to music and sound and emotion and songwriting. I think it's like all of that. So in terms of my setup, I think um, it's quite minimal. I wouldn't consider myself um, quite a gearhead. I think I have an El Capistan pedal, which I really liked. And Adrian Lanker, who I should name, is a huge influence on me. And I actually saw Adrian play years ago and she had an El Capistan pedal. And I was like up in Philadelphia at this venue called Johnny Brenda's and I was looking down at her and I was like, what's her pedal? And that, it was the only pedal she had. And I was like, that's all I need. Really? Yeah, I was like, that's all I, I mean, she might have, don't quote me on that, right. but that's all I saw. And I was struck by, I was struck by the like complexity of this one pedal. It does a lot. It yeah. does a lot. And then, yeah, I rarely play live, but this is, this is the sound that I think I always gravitate towards. Yeah, How quickly if that makes sense. Uh, did you buy the LCAP after that show? Like the next day. <laughs> yeah, I think it was the next day.
when the war is in the fold of the bedrock. The center cannot hold when the war is in the fold of the bedrock. What advice would you have for any songwriter who's up and coming or just starting out? Hmm. Best piece of advice. Songwriting as storytelling is such an important art um, of understanding yourself. And so I think to do that requires a lot of patience and compassion with yourself and, um, and presence with yourself. I think so much of my writing comes f in moments where um, I'm quiet and present with what I'm feeling and then capturing that and archiving that. Yeah, I would say advice is to listen to yourself and um, listen to the world around you and to your life. And, and um, yeah, allow that to, to unfold and guide you in writing. Thank you so much. Thank you, It was you, an Carl. absolute blast that came out great. Thank you. Um, absolutely. Thanks for coming.
is all. 